Talk with Super Bowl champion Willie McGinnis, NBC Sports Radio, the 24-7 Live Sports Talk Network. Listen at NBCSportsRadio.com. We're getting to the home stretch. Willie, how are you? I am well. I'm, I'm excited that the playoffs are literally around the corner. Yes, this is uh, this is when you, you know you won Super Bowls. This is about the time when uh, you know you start the, the you know the cream rises to the top. We start to get the real feel right about now after Thanksgiving. Yeah, absolutely. Teams start to separate themselves. Uh, guys start to get healthy um, because of the new rules. Guys are coming off IR and get back on the rosters and. Uh, you know the strong survive, and, and the real the real playoff teams start to start to show who they are, and uh, we kind of start to figure out things right about now. All right, well, let's try to figure out a little bit about this. Uh, is this, in your opinion, Willie, the Eagles' biggest test to the to date against Seattle, having to go there? Now they lost a couple games. I think they've lost two straight games at home. Uh, so not the same Seattle team, but is this the Eagles' biggest test? Um, you want to win on the road, and you, and the way the Eagles are going, they'll probably have playoffs throughout, you know, at home. But you got to show character. You got to be able to go on the road and win, especially against a good NFC opponent. And you're right, the Seahawks are not the same team. They're they're plagued by injuries. Um, they're not protecting um, Russell Wilson the same. They're not winning the football. They have become one dimensional pretty much on offense. Russell has been their entire offense. Uh, along with the receiving core and uh, the defense. You know, a lot of injuries, a lot of guys are out. So it's not the same team, but they're still a dangerous team. They're still a team that's going to compete at a high level, a lot of pride, well-coached. So they're going to go in and they're going to fight. They're not going to give up anything. So this is a good test. you got to go out. You're the better team right now. Uh, But you got to go out and you got to prove it because they're they're not going to give you anything. Uh, Willie, you know, um, you know, Philadelphia runs the ball really well, um, but this is a banged up secondary. Do you see Carson Wentz going after them and attacking that secondary? I think the great teams they figure out the matchups. Yep, uh, they make adjustments from week to week uh, depending on who you're playing against. And you know, one thing you don't want to do with Seattle is get that front seven going. As far as the rush game, they get after the quarterback pretty well, and you don't want to get that going. I think you stick. You stick, you stick to what's been getting you those wins and those victories and what you've been successful at. Uh, this team is well balanced. They run the football. They throw the book, the football off of the play action. Um, they they make explosive plays down the field in the passing game. Their tight ends, uh, Seth and the Ertz and those guys are on on fire. Um, you stick to your game plan and, and and you do what you've been doing. You know, I don't think you change much and just go one dimensional and just say, "Hey, we're just going to air it out," because we think they're depleted at the at the secondary position. Willie McGinnis with us. Willie, got to get your take on how uh, this Eli Manning stuff has gone down. A lot of outrage at the way it's been handled. Uh, what's your take? It is, man. It's tough to see Eli go through this. He's done so much for the organization. Um, and it's just a constant reminder that this is a business and it's a production business. And, you know, once, once you stop playing at a certain level, teams, teams will treat you a certain way. And, um, for everything that he's done for that team and that organization and the Giants fans, they probably should out of respect let him finish the season at the quarterback position. Um, what, what's the lose? You know, you want to get a look at certain guys. We kind of know what Geno Smith is. Um, And I know he hasn't had a lot of opportunities because of injury and different things, but he has a nice sample size that we know what he is. If you're trying to evaluate and do all those things and you're throwing in a towel for the season, um, you could have that conversation with Eli, but you let him finish the season. And, you know, Davis Webb is the guy you really need to look at and see what it is, but, I just think it's over now. There's no, there's no rectifying that relationship. Eli's not going to be there next year. Hmm. And, uh, what if the coach gets fired? Player, man. What if the coach gets fired? You see man. Eli staying? I don't know. I don't know because I don't think this just was a coach decision. I don't think the coach has that much pull right. to just make that type of decision with Eli. I think this has something to do uh, alongside the front office, and that's what hurts the most. I mean, he's done a lot for that front office and, and for the head coach. He stamped the head coach, you know, uh, going forward when they ushered Tom Coughlin out of there. So 
Um, I think this is a collective decision between the, the front office and, and the coaching staff. And as a head coach that's trying to save his job and save face, um, he's not going to go against the regime, is he? Uh, no, and it, I said the same thing. It, this had to be signed off by the owner, right? They, if the coach is on the hot seat, he can't just go r- roguely in there saying, hey, we're benching Eli Manning, right? No, no, no. No, if he's definitely out of there, he definitely knows he's not going to be there, then you kind of go out on your own terms. You make those decisions. But if they're forcing you and they're telling you what to do pretty much and you're working hand-in-hand with, with the guys upstairs, it's kind of it's kind of tough to make any call on your own at this point. Uh, Willie, a couple quickies before we let you run here. Cowboys and Redskins tonight. Can the Cowboys fix their offensive issues? They got issues on defense too, but uh, they, they can't score. They can't win. Yeah, they can't score, and they got to get back to what they can do with Zeke or without Zeke. Your identity is running the football. Run Rod Smith. Run Alfred Morris. Run the football. Uh, you 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 help save the defense. You help you help your entire team. The way this team has been built the last couple of years, it's been built on the shoulders of the run game. When the run game breaks down, everything breaks down. And we know Dak is still a young quarterback, and he's developing as that as that passer. But they've also got to figure out um, how to kind of help save and, and, and mask this defense and. One way they'd be able to do it is just run the football back effectively. I don't care if Zeke is in there or not. they got to figure that out. Uh, who's the favorite in the AFC, Pittsburgh or the Patriots? Well, they don't play each other this week, so, you know, they, they still fight, and we'll see what happens. But I think Pittsburgh has definitely improved defensively if it, it, to make this a better matchup once they face each other. Um, and it's going to come down to, you know, who takes care of the ball, who doesn't make mistakes. Um, the, the, I think the matchup would be a little bit different how each team attacks each other because they're so familiar with each other. But um, it's a couple of weeks away, and we'll, we'll see what happens. That's week 15, right? Uh, yep, down the road. We'll see uh, it, who's going to get home field, really, right? That'll be the home field matchup because Jacksonville lost last week. They were kind of hanging around there. That was a bad loss for them. So it uh, leads us to this. Uh, Eagles have home field right now, but fair or unfair, people aren't buying Minnesota because of the quarterback. Unfair. I think uh, you know, you know, that guy's that guy's out there working his tail off, man. And regardless of his status and him being a backup and him coming in taking over, he's been a part of that winning streak, and he's been a big integral part of that winning streak and the way he's playing. And when guys believe in you on your team and they rally behind you, that's all you really need. And this team is dangerous. And uh, we don't know what Teddy Bridgewater is right now. Not yeah. everybody's calling for Teddy to come in. He hasn't played football. It's going to take him weeks just to get back acclimated to the speed and to everything that goes along with being in a real game. So that's not smart just throwing him in there either. I think Case is the guy. Um, I don't think it's a conversation anymore. You ride and die by Case Keenum, and I think he understands that, and he's motivated. And all that talk about him – uh, not being the guy that can take him into the playoffs. All he's done every week is just gone out and proven everybody wrong. Uh, let's see if they keep winning. Should be fun down the stretch. Willie McGinn is Super Bowl champ, New uh, England Patriots, and the NFL Network's NBC Sports Radio, NBCSportsRadio.com. Always a pleasure, Willie. Thanks. Hey, no problem. My uh, pleasure.